the greatest and awesomest month of the year in which we celebrate the most badass action hero the world has ever known, Reb Brown. And I thought I'd kick things off with a bang this year by reviewing Reb's newest movie, Night Claws. That's right, I said newest movie, 2012! I couldn't even believe it! When I heard Reb Brown was coming back for a new movie, I was like... <laughs> I am so fucking jacked to see this movie, I can't wait! This right here, Reb Brown vs. Sasquatch. Hell, that's what they should have just called this movie. This Bigfoot is so fucking hosed, by the way. The man took out werewolves for crying out loud. His sister was a werewolf and he shot her in the chest with a fucking shotgun. <laughs> and we have wasted way too much time already, so Reb Brown vs. Sasquatch, baby, let's do this! Oh man, this is gonna be so awesome. It's gonna be fucking badass. This is gonna be... It, it's gonna be the beginning to every single slasher movie ever made. Did you hear that? Hear what? That... that animal. There's, There's something, something out, out there, there Donnie. Donnie. Baby, come on. It, it's nothing. It, it's probably, probably just like a, a wolf, wolf or, or a bear, bear or something. Or something. Well... Oh, come on! This was hack screenwriting in the 50s! The only thing that would surprise anyone with a setup like this is if they got naked, had sex without interruption, and just went home. Thanksgiving. I know you heard that. I know you did. Yeah, I did. Then go out there and check things out, or we're not finishing anything. Go check it out? The fuck you think he is, the Beastmaster? The fuck's he gonna do to a bear? Here's a smarter idea. Why don't you drive a mile down the road, pull over, and fuck there? This is so cliche. I thought at first there's no way they're actually opening a horror movie in 2012 like this. I don't know, I just thought the director has to be doing something clever, like having the actual characters of the movie watching a cheesy horror movie and this is the scene in it and then laughing at how predictable it is. I mean, what is all wrong? Why do they do that? You know what's sad? Even doing that is cliche. You can never have sex. <laughs> no, no. Okay, okay, Jesus. Oh. Wait, here comes another. You hear it? You hear it? Oh, yes! Yes! Predictable. I knew he was gonna bite it. She held on so hard that Donnie's feet ripped off before she let go. She's got a grip like a superhero. She must have hands like Truckosaurus. Thanksgiving. Oh, oh no. You bought your monster costume from a spirit Halloween store. That's like a half step up from the squishy sound from the ring. Okay, you know what? Fuck it, this doesn't matter. Now that that's out of the way, we can get to Red Brown kicking his hairy ass. This is gonna be so great. Frank Stallone? Well, this could be a good sign. You know, Red Brown teams with Rambo's brother. Wow, look at this footprint. It's fucking perfect. It's got like 90 degree angles. Does Bigfoot wear three inch platform shoes? Okay, so it's the next morning and the cops are scooping up what's left of the dead bodies. It's a mess, too, because Bigfoot does not fuck around. Talk about losing your head over a girl. Yeah! Rep Brown here plays the small-town sheriff, Joe, and I bet he's like a hardcore walking death wish cop who doesn't play by the rules. Sorry, I haven't had my coffee yet. What's going on? Or not. So what the hell happened here, Roberta? Well, good morning to you, too, Joe. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're right. Good morning, Roberta. It is a lovely day this morning, isn't it? Say, oh, um, I don't suppose you could tell me anything about those two horribly eviscerated corpses we're standing ten yards from. You know, whenever it's convenient. Williams, come over here. Yeah, check it out. There's a GIF file on the car here. What the hell could have done that? I don't know. The coroner said it must have been some kind of animal. No! So what? Think we got some kind of serial killer wacko on our hands? Let the coroner report tell us. But in the meantime, we should shut down the parks and the campgrounds uh, just to be safe. He wants to shut down the parks? Hmm, huh, it sounds kind of familiar. Larry, we have to close the beaches. Okay, if I were a cheesy, completely uninspired knockoff of a 70s monster movie, what would I do next? Hmm. 
I got it. I'd have a greedy, corrupt mayor who won't let him close down the parks because it'll cost the town valuable tourism revenue. It's real bad timing for something like this to happen in our town. It's summertime, Joe. Bam! God, I'm good! It's summertime, Joe. Amity is a summer town. We need summer dollars. We have the pumpkin festival coming up and other things, and the last thing we need is this kind of publicity. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm sure the pumpkin festival just brings in millions. The town economy would collapse without all those pumpkin tourists. We normally get over 100,000 visitors to this township during the festival share. We rely on that income. The township needs it to survive. Look, we depend on the summer people here for our very lives. You are not going and to have a summer unless you deal with this problem. Why would people be afraid of going to a pumpkin festival in the middle of town when the animal attacks are obviously taking place in the woods? But you could possibly avoid a disaster for us by keeping it quiet and getting it solved as quickly as possible. We can't! The press! And please, try to keep the press out of this. You yell shark. We've got a panic on our hands on the 4th of July. I don't know what this guy's problem is. You've got a Sasquatch, man. Mayor Clinton from Pumpkinhead 2 would have been printing t-shirts already. Well, let me put it this way. The abominable snowman, Bigfoot, that stuff is big business. The way I see it, this thing could put us on the map. I've got a bunch of body parts down in the morgue that used to be two teenagers. Tragedy, ain't it? Thank you, Sheriff, and good day to you. You too. Asshole. I heard that, Curtis. I'm literally seven feet away from you. Anyway, Sheriff Joe puts out a call for anthropology experts, and it just so happens there's one nearby who is also an expert on Sasquatches. Well, her and her intern guy. I'm pretty sure he's stoned right now. But this will be the first time we get to be there just after it happened. Cool. This is going to be huge for us, Thomas. Cool. Good, you drive. I got to change clothes. Cool. Yeah. Anyway, she's basically Richard Dreyfus from Jaws, but with boobs. And somehow less sex appeal. I'm Professor Sarah Evans from the National Museum of Anthropology. And how in the world did you get wind of this so fast? We have our ways, Sheriff. You have ways? No, the KGB has ways. Unless the National Museum of Anthropology maintains an elaborate Sasquatch spy network and an elite rapid response anthropologist strike team. And where the hell's Frank Stallone? What are you going to do when you find out that uh, a person did it? What person? Wolverine? So no man could have done this. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no chance. No chance. What about an animal, Doc? What else is there? Robots? Sasquatch. Ooh, Sasquatch. What? <laughs> Sasquatch, Yeti, Abominable Snowman, Bigfoot, whatever you want to call it, that's what did this. That's not real. Yeah, let's put that on the coroner's report. Cause of death, abominable snowman. You mean we have a 10 foot tall killer Bigfoot on the loose out there? Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Just great. The movie's B-plot involves a group of hikers on some kind of three-day survivalist tour with minimal supplies. I don't even know if they give these characters names, although why bother? They might as well just be holding up a 30 foot banner that reads Meat Train. Well, hey, the body count's gotta come from somewhere, right? And Frank Stallone's not in that group either! Where's Frank Stallone? One of the only memorable members of this group is this jerk-ass guy whose only character trait is that he just gets up in your grill, like, immediately. He gets in this dude's personal space within about 90 seconds of meeting him. What the hell do you two think you're doing? The first rule of survival is to count on others in your party, not to kill each other. Really? That's the first rule? Don't kill each other? Yeah, makes sense. What's the second rule? Don't eat your own fingers? Yeah, and then there's this lady. Suck it up, both of you, shake hands, and let's get this show on the road. Jesus Christ, this lady. Even for a movie about a killer yeti, her acting sucks. She's so stiff and weird, it's like she's in sixth grade trying to do a presentation on the Spanish-American War and trying the whole time not to look at her note cards because she spent all night trying to memorize it. Just look at her. Her asshole's clenched so tight it could bend steel. Pretty much, yes. As you know, we're going out into the wild for a period of three days. Free screenwriting tip. No member of the human race ever begins